Earlier, I got a call from a gun dealer I know in Utah. Last time Sean and I went to a shop, we checked out a genuine Gatling gun that he actually let us fire. He won't tell me what he's got this time, but he says it's big and loud and is definitely worth the trip. So what are you hiding underneath this thing? Well, let's take a look. Uh, oh my god. It's the Hotchkiss 37 millimeter revolving cannon. You got your own private army or something? <laughs> <laughs> Every home should have one. <laughs> this gun was in the back room because it's so big, I didn't have room for it to put it out in the store's display area. It's a Hotchkiss revolving cannon. It's just so strong and, and powerful looking. So it's sort of like a Gatlin gun cannon. It on is. On steroids. <laughs> it is. I mean, I think of Hotchkiss as a single barrel. Hot this is not your average Hotchkiss. This come out after the Civil War, 1876. They made quite a few of them, maybe even 250 of them to the American government. It probably got its most fame in the Spanish-American War. It pretty well helped take out the Spanish Navy. A lot of them just got ate up from the salt water. They just tipped them over the boats and let them go down to the bottom of the ocean. This one obviously is in pristine condition. A five barrel revolving cannon, that directly correlates to the Gatling gun. It's the same principle, a hand crank, multiple barrels. But you're talking about a barrel that's got a mouth on it this big around. Come on, this is incredible. We have ammo for it. Oh we, man. That shoots a one pound projectile and it shoots 2,500 yards, a mile and a half. Talk about reach out and touch somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so one crank, one round. One crank, one round. You feed the cartridges in here, it'll hold five. Okay, so someone could just stand to the side and keep on loading and you could just keep on cranking. Yep. This thing is amazing. It basically changed the way wars were fought. You couldn't line up on a battlefield and fight each other in Napoleonic style. You would get slaughtered that way. So how much were you looking to get out of it? Everything's for sale for the right price. <laughs> OK, and what is that price? Well, this would have to be 75000 At 75000 this Hotchkiss is pretty pricey. But hey, last time I came out here, I couldn't make a deal on the Gatling gun, and I bought a Sharps rifle instead. This time, I ain't settling for a rifle. So you're going to let us take it out and test it out? If you're serious buyers, we'll take it out and shoot it. We love to shoot them. OK, we'll meet you at the range. Fantastic. Really appreciate it. That's cool. It's going to be the best range day ever. <laughs> this is the Hotchkiss 37 millimeter. Fires a one pound projectile. This looks like hellfire and damnation right here. <laughs> so with the Gatling gun, shot a pretty big bullet. But with the Hotchkiss, now this is what I'm talking about, 37 millimeter. This would do some damage. So downrange, we have a bunch of barrels filled with water as your target. And then beyond that is the grand finale, the last target. I'm not going to tell you exactly what's going to happen, <laughs> but hold on to your hat. This gun was designed to inflict major damage. You wouldn't want to be in the front of this thing. OK, Rick, it's during the Spanish-American War. Spanish ship is coming close, about 75 yards downrange. You've got five shots. OK, this is it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So the last barrel is going to be the grand finale. This is an impact target. So in other words, a projectile has to hit this element to make it explode. The last time I came here, you saw the exploding target for the Sharps carbine. That was two and a half pounds of explosives. This is going to be 20 pounds. This is going to be incredible. Yeah! <laughs> nice! <laughs>
When I hit that target, my god, I did not expect that. This thing is awesome. For something built back in the 1870s, it really packs a punch. If I can work out a decent price, you're damn right. I'm going to buy it. So realistically, what are you looking to get out of this thing? The Canon's got to be 75,000. It's just it's uh it's one of those things you just don't ever find. The opportunity to buy a piece of history. I'll give you 40 grand for it. 75,000 is a bargain on this. Will you take 45 grand for it? Cash right now. Not an easy sell. You have to find that one person. Uh, no question about it. And they're getting harder it. and harder to find. No question about them. That's a serious offer. I think I got to hold off, though. OK, if you change your mind, give me a call. But the um, offer stands for now. Fair enough. I can't believe I drove all the way from Vegas to Utah, and this guy won't budge on his price. It was really awesome to shoot it, but I was really disappointed having to walk away empty-handed.